everybody. Uh, welcome to Shoreline Amphitheater. We're on the stage here. It's the 1st of September, and we played a really fun show here last night. And um, I thought it'd be fun, since it's been like almost 10 years since I did a rig rundown, to do a quick rig rundown for everybody and tell you what's going on up here these days. So this is my new 2021 Paul Langridock. I love it. Love this guitar. He made it during COVID. I went up to the barn and he gave it to me and it's hardwood binding, amazing. This is Holly. This is hardwood here. He does this whole thing by hand. And Paul and I were roommates in the 90s. He was Fish's sound man. He's one of my oldest friends and an amazing guy. And I was honored that he wanted to make me one more Koa guitar. These are um, Seymour Duncan humbuckers. Um, I've got coil taps so that I can go from single coil to humbucker, humbucker, single coil. And I can go to any of the single coils or I can go forward like based on these two switches, single coil, single coil. And that's a variety of sounds I change around all night long. This is a Mogami cable for those of you cable geeks. And I learned very recently that cables sound different. We tested every single cable up at the barn. I'm all Mogami from now on. So there you go. This is my pedal board and this is my amp. The amp is a train wreck amp built by Ken Fisher. I'm honored to be able to play this handcrafted masterpiece. It's if you can't get yourself a train wreck and you want that kind of sound, the amazing technicians at Comet amps are making the similar circuit and they're great, great amps. I've been using them for the last couple of years, but I'm very lucky right now to use the train wreck. All the train wrecks have uh, women's names. So this is Jan Marie. I used to have Sally that I had borrowed before I bought Jan Marie, but I snuck Sally through the alley. Sally, it's all Jan Marie now, all Jan Marie. Anyway, so you can do going from right to left. I still have this boomerang here, so I can go like. I can do these layers, right? And I do layers while the band is playing fairly frequently. You can bring this in or bring it out. And you can make it go backwards. I do that a lot. That's my little secret. I'm now giving away my secret. So it sounds cool if you're still playing with the drums. And, because Fish's not gonna play to a loop. I can go backwards and then I can go to the, you know, I'm still playing. I can still play music with the loop going. Anyway, mostly I put the loop on so you can see the rest of the effects. So this is my rack with effects, which was built by Bob Bradshaw. Bob has been, he's a very close friend of mine at this point. We've been working on racks together. It's been my honor to work with him since I think around 95. My rack changes incrementally. A lot of my effects are really old and I've been using them since like high school. Like my DM2000, two tube screamers and a Ross compressor and a Klon. That's newer. This is brand new, this like synthesizer. An original Jimi Hendrix Uni Univibe, which I love. Another synthesizer. This pedal is my reverse pedal. This is a key nine. I'm gonna play them all for you in a minute. That's my digital delay that I've had in every rig that since Fish started. This is an Eventide Reverb. These two are new, these are M5 uh, stomp box modelers and I use analog delays, Superpuss, a Pog, and this Mutron, which I just got this tour, uh, which is really cool because I had another Mutron, but that's the original Mutron that Jerry Garcia used, pretty cool. And a, and a very kind member of our community gave me that 
in honor of his friend. It was his friends who had passed away. And I'll put his name online and thank him. But anyway, that was owned by a member of our community. And it means a lot more to me for that reason, that, that Mutron. So, the effects. There's a whammy. You know, so this would be like the God of Jabu sound or whatever. Right? And you can, you know. And there it is. <laughs> or you can, you know, you know, you can. <laughs> if you want. Okay, so that's the whammy. And then I use the whammy for the octave down, like the growly sound. I like the whammy uh, octave down. It's kind of, this is like an original whammy that they've gotten better. They've improved the whammy, but I like the old crappy one better. I just, a lot of times when they improve these effects, they actually make them worse. They think they're making them better, but I like the old one. So it's like plastic and I like it. <laughs> I'm just used to it probably. So that's the whammy, like, you know. Okay. And then of course there's a wah wah, you know. Just like a regular old. Wah wah. I used to use a crybaby, but I use uh, the Bradshaw wah wah now. It's Bob. And if you combine the wah wah and the whammy, you get this growl sound that. I use that a lot. I like that. Now, if you add the univibe, this is one of my favorite sounds. It's these three effects. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's very vocal. It gives me chills. Okay, now the train wreck amp has no reverb and no, it's very pure. So my pure train wreck tone goes in the train wreck and through the 12 inch speaker, right? Okay, and I use these selections, and that's a Bruno cabinet. This is made by the, uh, uh, it's a Keeley effect, incredible effects, a great company. And uh, they made me this reverb and um, echo thing that's after the amp. So it goes into that speaker back there through a Comet amp. So my re reverb and echo come through a second speaker so that they won't muddy up the tone with the original 12. So my dry signal goes through that, and my wet signal, it's, it's a wet dry wet system. There's people who use this, like Brian May uses one. It's a second amp, and I use the Comet amp because it sounds a lot like the train wreck, and that's it. Now it has foam over it because I want to be able to keep the volume fairly high so that the amp is slightly hot, but that's the only way I could balance the, um, the foam balances the volumes between the reverb. So if I turn on the echo and I go like, like, you hear that echo? That's coming through that speaker. So it's post power tube. If I turn this one on, this is one of the super pusses, I have an echo, I have a light echo pre-power tube. So I can choose as the night goes on if I want my echo. And that means if you want the power tubes to distort the echo, or if you want the distorted power tubes to be echoed. It's a cool discrepancy and I, I use it all night long. So this is pre, that's pre. I have one universal tap button where I can tap everything off this button. That's a triplet. That's that's the echo before 
Actually, actually, it's both. So now this would go into the loop because the echo is before the thing. That's my tuner. <laughs> Snark, greatest invention ever in the last 10 years for the guitar. Okay, now, if I like this sound, I can send everything through the Leslie. Now, in the PA, I'd have to... That's coming through the Leslie, but I usually combine, I could do just Leslie, but I combine them so it's the amp and the Leslie. And I can speed up or slow down the spin. Now it's speeding up. Right? So in the PA, that's really cool because it's going through both speakers. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's really cool. So a lot of times, like in a jam, like and it gets really weird. Like I'll save that. I kind of like when the jam like synthesizes, like I want to start spinning. The whole room starts spinning around through the Leslie's. It's a good one. <laughs> and if you use the fast Leslie, it's got that sound. You hear that? Spinning, spinning. Okay, now here's some more of the fun stuff. So I have gain. I have like four layers of gain. I have like clean, right? So I have, I have totally dry, which is just this cable, the, uh, the Bradshaw rack mount, and the train rack amp. So that's like just clean. I'll turn off the Leslie. That's just the train rack. Very glistening. the compressor I use that a lot I, the Ross is and you know like I just like the Ross that's just I've, it's, I've had it for so long I know how it responds that's the Ross or you can have the Klon or the Klon and the Ross. The Klon is a little bit of distortion. You can hear just a little bit of gain. Then there's a halfway pump tube screamer. And they're 808s, they're the old tube screamers. And then there's the uh, you know, the, the, the loud tube screamer, the divided sky tube screamer, which is... Sorry, it's kind of hard with this, you know. That gets loud, but when we're rocking out, it's, it's loud. So that's like, and then you can use any three, combination of three. Like you could have one, two, all three of them on. Okay. Then you have the... Okay. Oh, then I have those other two delays are extreme delays. One of them's on a triplet and one of them's on a quarter note. So that would be like, that's the triplet. So if I tap a quarter note, I get a triplet. Right? to the quarter note. See, that's quarter note, and here's a triplet. You can do both. And back and forth. 
forth. So that's like, I do a lot of fast footwork on that one. I'll go like. That kind of stuff. So that's the echoes. Univibe, it sounds like this. Like free, you know? That's something else up. So that's your univibe, right? Then I got the pog over there. eight different settings. I'm about to get a foot switch so I can go through them, which will give me seven more cool sounds. <laughs> so, you know, like. Um, this um, tube reverberato. It's like a Okay, so the tube reverberato is like a um, a tube vibrato, so that's my vibrato. That sounds like that. You hear that? It's got that shimmery tube vibrato, I love it, love it. And put it through the, <laughs> Put it through the Leslie, now it's spinning around and it's all oh, so cool. <laughs> so that's. Then I have this synth, which is that. Sounds like this. Okay, and then I have the other sin, which sounds like this. It's like a high one and then a low one. 
pedal so you can go backwards. Millennium Falcon taking off backwards but landing. <laughs> or you can put you reverb. So if I, I have one at the beginning of the stream and one at the end of the stream. Pre effects and post effects. So pre, I turn it on. And it's got this, like this growl. Soul Planet, that long Soul Planet. It's, uh, oh, it's this one.
That's pretty cool. And two more and then I'm done. That one. Has like a, a no attack setting. I love that. Or this. And then there's the Mutron. So that's it. That is the 2021 rig. And uh, thanks for watching. It's been really fun playing for all of you this tour. I don't know if we've ever had this much fun. It's just thank you all for being out here with us. And I hope that we'll see you soon. And that when we do, you will hear.